Kia ora, tala falava, malo lele, nisa bola. Welcome to Land Rover First 15 Rugby. We're at the New Zealand Barbarians First 15 National Championships and it's finals day. We had the semis on Friday. Manukura and Christchurch girls, they're up first in the girls final. What can we expect? Yeah, looking forward to the girls final, Manukura and Christchurch girls. Best of the north, best of the south. And also what I'm really enthused about is that they're starting to build a legacy. And you look at Georgia Miller, and you look at Kaipo Olsen Baker from Christchurch Girls and from Manukura, respectively, that are now playing and competing at the top level. There's a pathway there and the opportunity to expose these young ladies, um, many who are year 13 who will leave and join the elite system. It's an exciting time for them. And for this generation of players, the class of 2022, two best teams in New Zealand go at it in the final. Well, Christchurch Girls High School, they're trying to go quickly and they're going to have a chat as well. We've caught up Grace Meacham. No, you got to talk to me, Chris. All right. We've had heaps of offsides already. Already warned you, okay? I don't have any other option, okay? Yellow. Let's go to halfway. Okay, Kerry. Tali Tonu. Davis with a little show and go. Now a right foot step, draw a pass or a chance. Down the left edge, Fana hang up. It's going to get her name on the score sheet, but that is all Maya Davis. A good run from Fana hang up. But have a look at the footwork and class of Maya Davis. To set that up for Ponamu Fana hang up. Good try. And they've got field position in the ball, Maya Davis. With a ball over the top for Stanchel. Oh, not able to get it down, loses it forward. One, two, four, six! And Tyulu. At the back, but the hustle, oh, that's a try! Grant! So a bit of confusion at the back of the line out, and Manakuta cash in straight away, Elise Grant. Opportunist try, and you got to be in the right position to get there as well, Elise Grant. She comes away with it. Just a big miscommunication from Christchurch Girls High School. Look at this. They win the line out clearly. They bring it down and then they pop it up. And Put it on. Hold you. Good scrum from Christchurch Girls. Very good scrum. But Manakuta winning a little show and go from Manaku. To get it just behind the Christchurch Girls line, Maya Davis. They shift out to the right edge. Manakuta, and it's going to be a try for Sutherland. Pure numbers game. Mia Manakuta, she did well because she drew in defenders. She had about three on her, and it was the quick recycle of the ball in through that back line. Chris passing as well. Here it is off the back of the scrum. She gave it to Manakuta. She danced around, ran in between two defenders, gave the dummy away. Look how many defenders came in on Maruku. There's about three or four there. And then it was too late by the time they decided to fan out because they had a back line stacked in that skip out pass from Whakatehihere Maya to Sutherland. Great try. From the kickoff, Christchurch are very good at the breakdown area. Christchurch aggressive. Really compete hard. And then from that turnover, Ngalibuzu. Going to get the first try for Christchurch girls. They've been very good at the breakdown. And Manakuta under pressure. And from the turnover, they get their first try. Finally rewarded for their endeavour at the breakdown. As you said, the confidence they have to always try and blitz that ruck and compete at the breakdown in the first era Maya Davis has made all game because she's been exceptional. You see, she went for the box kick and then was pushed off it, so it was knocked on. Great heads up play from Baxter just to push her off that box seat. You're right, Taylor. A lot of both of the first 15s will return next year. Anias Drossett Lake with another line out win at the front. And Blake has got the ball at the back of the mall before being tackled by Dalzell. And a little second man play perfectly read by 
Krasic girls, and it's going to be Baxter against the run of play. He will comfortably make it under the post to get their second try. She was able to pick it perfectly and get the ultimate reward. She tried to do it earlier in the first half, was caught offside. This time she timed her run perfectly. Young Poppy Baxter, look at the speed she hits on this ball. She read it from a mile away. Brilliant camera work there as well. You can just see her taking off only 14 years old, Poppy Baxter. Maya Davis took an important penalty in the semi-final. And the score was 29 to push it to 32 with about 15 to go. And you see that they were going for the same tactic, but the kick wasn't successful. And in the end, Maya Davis's penalty proved to be very big in them advancing to this final. 28 penalties in 61 minutes are going to go again quickly. The signal. Number six, you've got a roll. Yellow, yellow, yep. That is a big decision. They're going to finish the game with 14 players. It's 10 minutes. In the bin, eight minutes and 10 seconds on the clock. They're in a the perfect position. There's the big dummy from Edwards. Stay back. Cochrane. Good tackle from Maraku. And the dummy from Munro gets the try. 19 all with the kick to come. Crushers Girls High School, they made it so hard for themselves. There was just a real lack of direction as to who was going to carry with each phase. They kept the ball at the back of the ruck and they were really slow to clear it. And Munro decided just to go herself. And she got good low body position, spied a tiny gap and converted. And man, a kick to come. We could be even Stevens after this one. Just take a look here. Cochrane, she's been immense for Christchurch Girls High School. She's had plenty of carries just in this sequence of play. You can see she's trying to organise her back line and sees that there's a gap in between the ruck and the first defender. No one's standing in that ruck position and she exploits the hole. Yeah, Riley Munro, she has been key for Christchurch Girls High in this comeback today. Her decision making around the penalties and quick taps, keeping the ball, keeping the momentum going has been influential. 19 all now and potentially the last set piece in the game Let's go. Lake with the line out win Take it back to the right side, Keelan Wiley. Davis. For Grant, Alize Grant. A full time on the clock as they advance through their forwards and now, yep. This is kickable. Time's up. Yeah, if you want full time. Yeah. Who's up on the... It's what they're calling for, sideline, Ken. They're calling for a kick at goal, but is it within range? No, they're going... Oh, they're going... They're happy to take 90 more. They're going to kick it out, share the title. Mia Maraku, they knew exactly what they were doing. The two best girls team in... New Zealand Secondary School Girls Rugby for 2022. Manakura and Christchurch Girls High, and they share the New Zealand Barbarians' first 15 trophy for the year.